Are you constantly wondering and unsure which remote control does what? Let's make life easier as we unbox and discuss the new Big Button Universal Remote Control from Mitchell and Brown. Hi everyone, it's Ricky here from Ricky's Tech Talk. So there's no setup required, it's easy to use, it's basic controls and it's large buttons. You'll be able to use this remote control with all of Mitchell and Brown's TVs as well as large TV manufacturers such as Sony, LG, Samsung and so many more. Over 2,000 models are supported to use this remote with and I'll link those in the video description. Turning to the back it shares more information which I will discuss once we have unboxed our remote. A side note here is that Mitchell and Brown still have a dedicated helpline number here at the bottom corner that you can call if you need help, support or assistance or if you are able to leave a comment underneath this video I will be more than happy to help. As well as being an easy to use remote control it is also very easy to get into your packaging. No need for scissors, no need to cut anything, you just simply pop it open. You have the paper insert that has your controls on which we'll discuss a little bit later on and then you also have your universal big button remote control here. So taking a first look at this control it is really easy to see, it's really simplified and easy to actually use. Let's have a closer look at our remote control here and look at the buttons. So they are large, they are easy to use and it's simplified. So you have your power button you have directional buttons and you have the select button in the middle. You also have mute, you have input, menu, volume controls and program controls as well as a number pad. At the bottom you also have back and then you have info. This remote control takes two AAA batteries. The housing is a little pinch motion to release the casing and then you can insert your batteries. One of its key points here is no setup is required. And what does that mean? Well, the next step is to point this remote at your TV that you want to control with no annoying setup process. No need to work out a TV code to input. Simply just press the big red power button at the top left hand corner and there you go. You have control over your TV and now have the ability to control the channels that I want to watch. I can also change the volume as well. So I press the back button here to take it back away from the menu that I had up. And then by using the volume controls and by using the program controls, I can switch. So volume goes up, it goes down, and I can switch channels as well. It's simple, it's easy to use. So this is an LG TV. However, as I mentioned, this universal remote control will work with all Mitchell and Brown TVs plus support for over 2,000 other models from manufacturers such as Sony, LG, Philips, Panasonic, Samsung and so much more and I will make sure to leave a link in the video description and you can go and check to see if your TV will work with this universal large button controller. Switching to another TV now it is just as simple as pressing that big red button and it will auto detect your TV connect and work if supported and it's that easy which is fantastic. So let's go through some of the functionalities of our controller. So first of all, let's start with the mute button. So the mute is opposite to the power button and it simply just mutes your audio for you. You can press this to turn the audio on or off for you automatically or you could use the volume controls. In the middle of your directionals, you have your select button or an OK button. This will show you what's on your TV and of course different TVs will show different things. You could also use the back button at the bottom left. The next button I'm going to show you is your input selections and this is where you could choose the different inputs for your TV, so HDMI connections such as satellite and other devices. The next button is menu and this will show you the menu of your TV and again this depends on different TVs that you have and you can use the directional arrows or the select button to navigate through these. Next I want to show you is your keypad, this is where you can pick your channel so if you know the channel you want to watch just press that number and on my TV it's showing me a program list and it will automatically jump to that channel or you can press the OK select button button and you could jump back to another channel if you want to by just simply pressing the number you want to press and it will go back nice and simple and again easy to use. And then finally at the bottom right hand corner you have info. This will give you the information of the channel you're watching and what show you're watching. You can use the directional buttons to navigate through different shows and you can also press the OK select button in the middle to jump to another show that you maybe want to watch and it's that simple to jump between channels making it easier and more enjoyable to watch what you want to watch 
watch when you want to watch it. So as some of you may know, I'm registered blind, and this doesn't mean that I'm completely blind. I have some usable vision. However, with a remote like this that has the large print, it's easy to read and simply larger buttons makes it easier for me to use, especially compared to a traditional remote control now that has so many different buttons to do this, do the other things, and I don't even touch them hardly any other time. So I'd rather have a remote control that makes my life easy. Mitchell and Brown have designed this remote with the growing elderly population in mind because the remote control is simple to use and just works by pointing at a TV you want to control and pressing one button. No annoying setup. Also, this remote control may be easier for those with dexterity or interaction abilities who will find the remote easier to use because of the larger and simplified controls. I had the pleasure to speak with one of the founders of Mitchell and Brown's, Dan Brown, and their sales director, Rob, who explained to me and had the pleasure to talk with me about the new universal remote control. I was able to share my feedback and wanted to share my feedback with you that I talked to them about. For first generation of a universal control, it's important having a solid starting point and being able to promise to deliver on their key points. So easy to use and easy setup process. So talking of an easy setup process, as you've seen in this video, all you need to do is point this remote control at your TV, press that big red power button and that's it huge tip. Some universal controls need code entering. This can be a nightmare to find your code even and also sometimes being visually impaired it's impossible to enter the code in time and pair it up. Simply just point, press one button and away you go. Their next key selling point is it's easy to use. I have spoken about the buttons and its features, making it easy and simplified for anyone to use. Aging population, visually impaired, anyone with dexterity or interaction abilities, or even cognitive functionality, it's simplified, which makes it easier. Again, another huge tick here. Not everyone is technical minded and just needs a product to do what it says on the tin, or in this case, on the packaging. I was able to feed back some of my points and my views to Dan and their sales director, Rob. In their next model, I suggested making the number five tactile or having a raised bump to identify a starting point. Some people use this with sight loss as an anchor point to know where they are. They know if it's placed on number five, above that is number two and below that is number eight and also navigating up sometimes you see a minus and a plus on the volume or the program button again this is an anchor point to identify where you are an easier way of maneuvering around your buttons on your controller they are tactile though you can feel which button does what however it would be nice to have a tactile raised number on number five maybe moving forwards my other minor points that i mentioned was actually attaching the battery housing removable cover as this could be dropped if they are fiddly and i think either a slide option or even where it's attached so it wouldn't fall off where some people may not be able to pick it up would be a better option to have. I hope you have found this video helpful and do let me know what you think. Of course if you need help and support Mitchell and Brown have many different ways of contacting them which I'll link in the video description. You can also leave a comment below this video and I'll leave a link to Mitchell and Brown's website in the video description where you can go and learn more if you wish and if you choose to purchase this remote it costs $29.99 here in the UK. Thank you for watching and all that's left to say it's time to go and watch something on TV knowing I have full control thanks to Mitchell and Brown's large button universal remote.